Good morning and welcome to Meditate with Marie. I am here live on Mother's Day in the UK a little bit earlier than planned. I was going to be here tonight and record this for you but things have changed and I need to do it this morning. So I'm in the room with my mum and my beautiful dog who are here joining me. Um, they're going to stay off camera though. So welcome to It's a Colourful Life. In this series of videos, I am going to show you how we can use colour as a tool to enhance and improve our well-being. Now, if you've never heard of this concept before, let me briefly explain it to you. Colour that we absorb through the eyes, it affects our subconscious mind. So even if you're not aware of it, the eyes are taking in colour all the time, all around us, sending signals to the brain, which then sends other signals through the body and through the subtle bodies. So colour has an impact on us on an energetic level and it works physically, mentally, emotionally and even spiritually. Um, I could go into so much more detail with all of this stuff, but just for the sake of keeping it simple and we're going to run a series of about 10 videos, um, let's just stick with the basics for today. So today we're going to focus on the colour green. So as you can see with the things around me, I'm in a green room, I've got green items, mostly plants around me, and I'm wearing the colour green, just to really drive this forward message for the sake of the video. Um, so the colour green has a balancing effect on us. It brings balance and harmony to us. And it's a really brilliant colour because it's both soothing and uplifting. Did you know that the human eye can perceive more shades of the colour green than it can any other colour? more shades of the colour green than any other colour. So it can be soothing in a way that um, if you've been up a height, you know, if you've had a busy day, you've been on the go all the time or there's something stressful going on, it can bring a nice calming, soothing effect to us. At the same time, it can be uplifting. So if you feel like you need a little energy boost or a little pick me up mentally or emotionally, green can do that for you. This makes it a really nice colour to have in a bedroom or a living space. So you can bring colour into your home by your interior designs. Um, just for example, this bedroom, I've painted the walls green, but so are the, um, here's one of my pillows. So this is green and it's got a little bit of nature on. It's got like little leaves and things on. So my pillows, my bedding and my curtains, they're green. They just add to that atmosphere of the room. Um, so it makes it really nice to bring it on the interior design level. But one of the best ways you can connect with the colour green is through nature. And it's one of the best things you can do for your well-being as well. So you can either go outside and just go into a green space, whether it's the woods, the park, it might be, you know, the fell, riverside, anywhere where there's lots of trees, lots of greenery. You can just be around it, you can breathe in that fresh air, you can absorb that colour green energy. Um, and if, if you want to, you can bring nature indoors as well. So connecting with nature is a strong way to connect with the colour green. You'll see some house plants around me. So we've got these here and these here. This is my avocado plant. This is Oliver, who I'm very proud of. Um, I planted him from seed. These are just a couple of many, many, many plants I have around my home. It is literally full of them, especially downstairs. Um, so plants not only connect us with nature, which we can use as a tool for our well-being, they connect us with the colour green or any other colour that they might bloom with their flowers, um, but really they're bringing in that energy of balance and harmony because as we breathe in and out, they do the opposite of what we need. So they give us the oxygen and we give them the carbon dioxide. So it's like an exchange of energy, but it purifies the air in the room. It brings balance and harmony to your home, your workspace, anywhere else where you have the plants indoors, but also to your body as well. And that also has a knock on effect mentally and emotionally. So I just wanted to share that with you. I invite you to try some things for yourself if you want to try working with the colour green. Um, it's a heart centred colour, so it works with your heart centre here, this main energy chakra in the centre of our heart space. So 
if you need a little bit of a boost for your heart or your lungs, you know, your circulation and your respiratory systems, they can be supported or improved by using the colour green. It aids recovery and healing. So um, you can do that by wearing the colour green, going out in nature, bringing nature in. You might work with crystals. I have a piece of green adventure in here. It's one of my favourite crystals. So that's another modality that you can use. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, green is also a great colour if you want to work with transformation. If you're looking to transform something within you, um, it can bring you luck. It can encourage abundance and prosperity. And it also helps to have a generous heart. If you want to be more generous or receive generosity, you can work with the colour green. But more than anything, gratitude. That is my favourite wellbeing tool for the heart centre and it aligns perfectly with the colour green. So I think that's an appropriate place to finish this video. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you for being here and just being present. I am grateful to share this time, this energy and this wonderful positivity practice as I call it with you. So as we move forward with the videos to come, I invite you to bring a little bit of colour into your life and see if it can help you with your well-being in any way. If you found something valuable in this video or you think that somebody else might benefit from something that you've heard, please feel free to like it, share it, comment or tag your friends in it. Um, let's just spread the love, spread the colour, spread the joy. I'm going to love and leave you for now. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day and I will see you again very soon.